Hey guys, I'm Yuji Murata. I work as engineering manager. My mission is building the best global engineering team. Uh, please follow me on the Twitter or LinkedIn. I write some blogs, so please visit my kind of uh, medium blog if you have any interest. So today, I would like to talk about power of NAS to network. So the day is, you know, people who has a personality, uh, not good at kind of socializing uh, to the uh, socializing uh, themselves. Actually, I am, you know, kind of people. I am not good at on the party. I am not, you know, good at, you know, making a friends. I don't have that much, you know, big numbers of friends as well. Uh, but, you know, these kind of, you know, um, not tendency sometimes you know became strong strengths because you know those people have more kind of in, interest into the, some kind of specialized areas and you know uh you know learn these kind of technical topics and so on so i think uh, there is uh, some tendency that there, there is you know uh much more numbers of the nerds in that kind of uh, computer industry in my opinion uh, but, you know, I recently found that I think, you know, maybe, they, you know, those kind of, you know, nerds people have a specific strengths if they have a kind of stretching themselves to socialize more. So I would like to talk about this. So there are a lot of kind of theories and, you know, research going on under the, you know, social network kind of uh, area. So, that, you know, recently I, I am reading a book named Blueprint which is uh, describing the human community nature in terms of the evolution kind of uh, psychology first perspective. Uh, there is uh, you know, uh, some kind of research introduced under this book. Some of the animals like apes and the gorillas have the similar tendencies uh, to the uh, humans, you know, uh, network of the friendship. And you know, what that kind of research you know, found was, you know, degree assortativities. So what degree assortativity is, basically this means like um, people having the similar numbers of the connections, having a clusters of the friendship. You know, degree assortativity is talking about these tendencies. So let's, you know, imagine back to the, you know, uh, when you are school, I think that this is, you know, maybe the similar kind of you know, situation in the, you know, uh, Japan, I think. Uh, so at least in Japan, there is, a, you know, some kind of, you know, cluster exist. There is a cluster of the popular people and there is a cluster of the least popular people there. So, the, you know, they have, the, you know, tendency to having the friends. So who has the, you know, many friends tends to have the, you know, similar kind of a people. So this is so-called, you know, degree assortativity. So that's going to be kind of observed in the, some of the animals, but that is also kind of uh, similar to the, you know, peoples as well. That's the finding of this research. So basically, you know, this means that maybe, the, you know, a nurse tends to have the, you know, uh, having the friend, you know, NAS tends to have the nurse friend. That's gonna be the you know uh, one kind of implication of this theory, so that there is a, some kind of you know, some kind of a disconnection between those you know community. I think you know that's gonna be the you know some kind of a tendency as a human being. So there is another research uh, from the kind you know um, management theory is you know structure whole theory. Uh, this is basically, you know, the theory about the kind of network and the uh, knowledge uh, spread, I think. So let's say that if there is a, some kind of social network, you know, having the peer-to-peer -peer connection in the, you know, um, each kind of uh, nodes, meaning that, you know, network gets saturated. Uh, there is no kind of, uh, how do I put it? Uh, no single, you know, strong, you know, uh, people having the influence. But let's say that if the, you know, some of the two cluster of the network gets isolated, but you know, there is a, some bridge exist. Uh, I think that this is called as a, you know, broker in this kind of theory. Uh, these two people have the strong influence because they have the kind of you know, uh, control of the informations. Uh, they can kind of, you know, um, kind of broke 
broke the, all the you know uh, knowledge kind of communication so all the kind of knowledge go through these kind of brokers so that those people are gonna be having a control have the best of the knowledge so that they have a kind of influence so uh, in these kind of theories uh, you know what we found is basically the you know, broker have the strong power in this kind of isolated kind of world so you know combining those two different theories what we can you know find is basically if the you know nurse who is on the cluster of the maybe the least popular nodes ha try to stretch the kind of you know uh, connection to the other network which can have the you know more popular kind of people's clusters then those people uh, these kind of nerds can have the very good chance to be promoted to the kind of broker then these you know people can have them you know uh, much more control of the information they have a much more chance to get the information uh, you know across two different you know, clusters of the network so you know that's gonna be the you know maybe one of the potential strengths if the nerds try to stretch his capability uh, to have the connection to the other network even if these people may not be good at you know making the socialize you know uh, by himself but important part is these people does not have to be kind of you know, truly outgoing people having the thousands of the connection we don't need that this guy needs to have one connection to the other kind of popular uh, people's network then this guy can be the potential broker so there are some kind of you know, uh, maybe the you know, case we can see in some kind of you know, movies or you know, TV games as well. So remember in the Mission Impossible, uh, there is a kind of you know, Ethan Hunt as a hero, but there is a, another guy is there who is loser, who is the hacker. So basically this guy is basically nerd. But you know by you know having a you know tag with the kind of you know Ethan Hunt, the loser uh, made a lot of kind of you know. Uh, you know kind of know, uh, contribution to the any series of the kind of missions so that's gonna be the one example another example is uh, otakon from the uh, metal gear solid i think like if you have a you know a huge game fan you know you know about it so otakon is the you know typical nerds character but as you know this kind of otakon have a kind of paired uh, with the you know solid snake he can also you know make a you know a whole bunch of the kind of you know, uh, uh, challenge uh, contribute to the challenging missions so i think you know uh, if the nerd stretch the network to the another type of the people this nerd can be very strong power to make influence to the world so that's gonna be the all the talk for today i hope this guy you know talk gonna be you know uh you know providing you some insight uh thank you for watching and see you soon